Hello, Crossroads Church, and anyone else who may be listening to this. My name is Keegan, coming to you with the daily devotion for Saturday. And Crossroads is continuing its current sermon series of living with purpose. And this last Sunday, Pastor Paul and Deb taught on heaven and preached on heaven, the topic. And today's scripture reading comes from John chapter 14, verses 1 through 6, and it reads, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would not. I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are. You are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except the Father. So Pastor Paul and Pastor Deb uh, used an acrostic or analogy as many pastors do in teaching and they used heaven. And uh, they spoke on how heaven, the H first meeting is our home. We just talked about in the scripture how God is isolated or maybe some mansion that you'd imagine where you have everything you want uh, but most likely it's a room that's God prepared for us so that we can still be with community with other people um, and, and during the message Pastor Paul gave some ideas of what that might look like and especially with how rooms uh, were structured in the culture of Jesus time he also talked about the E and heaven is eternal the fact that life is short and temporary so our current sermon series, Live With Purpose, we have to live with purpose every second, every minute, every day. We have to live with this purpose, understanding that this is all temporary, but there's a life that awaits us for eternal life in heaven with Jesus. The next is the A, Alpha, and Omega. They taught on how Jesus was there at the beginning with the Father and the Holy Spirit, and he's going to be there in the end, in heaven when we get there, or when he comes for his second coming. God always fulfills his promise. He cannot lie. So we can have confidence that Jesus will come again and restore this world into um, a new creation similar to the Garden of uh, Eden uh, where everything was perfect before sin entered the world. The next is victorious believers in the acrostic heaven. The V is victorious believers. So we have victory in Christ as believers. They quoted a pastor named Adam Stanley. He said, good people don't make it into heaven. Forgiven sinners do. A lot of times, us in our human nature, we can think, oh, I'm a decent enough person, good enough person, I can make it in. The Bible says, no, not one of us are good, for we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So it's that reminder that we need Jesus. We need to be forgiven. As he said in the passage, I am the way, the truth, and to the Next is um, E is eternally in the acrostic heaven is eternally separated non-believers. It's not something fun to talk about, but it's the fact that that should motivate us. Understanding that people that don't know Jesus are going to be separated from Him for for eternity. They're going to be casted out into hell. And what that should be a motivation is in heaven, we'll have all of our eternity forever to praise God, to worship God, to be in community with other believers, um, to fellowship. We have all, we can do all that. And that's a reminder that we can do that here and now in the kingdom of God on this earth. But we can do all that in heaven as well for eternity. But the one thing we won't be able to do in heaven is witness to others, to encourage others, and most importantly, share the truth and love to others that they need Jesus, that he's the way, the truth, and the life, and that they need their sins forgiven to enter into life and abundant life through Jesus. The last in the cross of heaven is the end, and it's no more sorrow or tears. And that's a reminder that all the trials and tribulations that we go through here on this earth, if we're going through it for Christ and through Christ, will receive that crown of life which he promises us. So that is our encouragement that all this is just temporary and it's nothing even compared to the joy that awaits us when we're 
going through trials and tribulations. So may that be a blessing to you today. Remember the hope of heaven that awaits us and understand that everything here is temporary and that we can live with this eternal perspective that the best is yet to come and that heaven is also not this place far out of reach, but it's here and now. Jesus came to bring the kingdom come here and now and that we should live in a way that shows that we are living with that purpose so that others may come with them more and more may come to know Jesus and become fully followers of him. The last thing I wanted to mention is understanding that Jesus wants us to have this confidence in heaven. Many people will go through life ignoring the big question of where am I going to spend eternity? Heaven or hell? What's eternity going to be like? Is there a life after this? And God has placed in, inside each one of us to kind of inherently know that there's something beyond this life. And many people will say, well, whatever happens, happens. If God lets me in, God will let me in. If he doesn't, we'll see what happens. But God wants us to have this confidence. He doesn't want us to live with this fear or worry or confusion of what's going to happen to us. So may you have confidence in your salvation through Christ. And if you've never made that decision, I pray you do. It's as, many, as easy as ABC. Admit you're a sinner in need of God's grace. Believe that Jesus is our resurrected Lord and Savior. And confess our sins before him come to repentance, turn away from your sin, and follow Jesus, and then demonstrate his love to a hurting world. It's easy, easy as ABC for salvation. Admit, believe, and confess. Then once you have that gift of salvation, demonstrate it to a hurting world, that D. So ABCD. So um, may you, in every moment of your life, live with that purpose of heaven that awaits us, and a reminder that heaven is also here and now when we're living in God's kingdom. God bless.